invited to some of you pray. Who do you pray? Yes, ma'am. At dinner. I love those sheep. At lunchtime. So typically, uh, being good at this phase, we play, we pray at a meal. <clears throat> or at, at bedtime. Now they be down to sleep. I pray you, Lord, dear Lord, our souls to keep. May angels watch us through the night. And wake us with the morning light. <laughs> and a good epistemal uh, prayer, which you will find in the back of your prayer book, you didn't know this, is bless the Lord and the Spirit of our use, us to your service, make us ever mindful that each of others in Christ's name we pray. That's the Episcopal prayer. The Roman Catholic prayer is bless. Come on, help me out here. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the souls of the faith and parts of the mercy of God rest you. Man, we are so competitive. We've got our even our different prayers. But you know what? Other than uh, meals and uh, nighttime, bedtime prayers, we can pray all day long. Paul tells us to pray and see. Sometimes I'll pray in the car and don't close my eyes. Sometimes I'll pray as I'm walking or if I'm jogging. I don't do that anymore, but I used to. So just remember, you can pray anytime. You can pray anytime, anywhere, for any reason. Talk to God. Because praying is talking to God. That sounded pretty good, didn't it? <laughs> yeah.